Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review for Dragon Ball Super Episode 27. Now, I know the review is a little bit late, and I apologize for that. I was sick, and I'm still getting over the cold, but it's a lot better now. Okay, so, this episode of Dragon Ball Super was really damn good. Uh, I'll say it, when, when something, when Dragon Ball Super is good, I will give it credit. And when it crap, I will give it crap. Now, in this episode of Dragon Ball Super, the things that were good about the episode were pretty obvious as you saw it. It was one, the Earth exploding was done much better in this episode than it was in the movie. In the movie, it kind of just happened. And then they kind of just reversed time, and then Goku just killed Frieza. Like, that was literally all that happened after Frieza blew up the Earth. It was just, planet blows up, turn back time, kill Frieza. In this, it was like, Frieza, uh, you know, makes the Earth start blowing up. You, you cut to all the different characters and all the different family members. And then the planet blows up, and you see them all, like, being like, shit. Damn it, my family. And it's really good. Really well done. In fact, if you hadn't seen the, the movie, you would probably be really, like, really invested in that scene. I, of course, didn't give a single damn because I knew it was going to happen. <coughs> but so then, what goes on to happen is that we turn back time and Goku kills Frieza. Same as in the movie. However, however, the Vegeta fight in this episode was much, much better. <clears throat> and I mean that. Sincerely mean that. The Vegeta fight in this episode was amazing. God tier. <clears throat> I mean, best fight of the entire arc. It was fluid. It, the frame rate was amazing. I mean, really, I mean... You know, and it was a little bit longer than the movie. I mean, I was hoping, I knew from the title alone, he wasn't going to do it. <coughs> Vegeta wouldn't get the kill. Vegeta wouldn't get the kill. I was hoping he would. Like, as a fan, I knew it would never happen. As a fan, I was like, maybe, maybe Vegeta will get the kill. But, of course, he did not get the kill, which is unfortunate. But that's the sad truth. Now. Of course, they added a lot onto the episode because they showed an aftermath party. So instead of having the real party with beers and weights partying with the Z fighter, like in like a very friendly manner, they had that at the end of this arc instead of the end of Battle of God. So what happens here? In that they're all relaxing, they're partying, beers and weights are eating, and you see and. Goku goes to Namek, and you've been to Mechie and Dragon Ball to revive Piccolo. I kind of wish they would not have done that off-screen. That is my own personal opinion. That really annoyed me. But then also, I can understand why they did. People get whipped back to life so often. It doesn't, there's no real point in showing it at this point. But they bring back Piccolo, and they're in the party. This is the best part of the whole thing. Gohan goes to Piccolo. And asked Piccolo to train him. This was really good stuff, guy. He asked Piccolo to train him. And you realize how great that is? He asked Piccolo to train him. This means you're just going to have to go on coming back. Now, due to the fact that in the Dragon Ball Super manga, he's currently at a conference instead of in involved in the actual arc. He's then at a conference. I feel like when he... He meant what he said literally. He's only going to be training to protect his family. And I'm going to be doing a discussion video on this at some time in the next one or two, in the next couple weeks. But, that's besides the point. So Gohan asked, um, you know, Piccolo to train him. Piccolo said, you better be prepared considering how weak you are right now. And the last real scene... It was still in the movie, but it was a very good scene with, with Goku and Vegeta. Goku walks up to Vegeta, he's like, hey, you know, we stick right. If the two of us teamed up, we could have stopped Frieza. 
and Vegeta like like hell that will ever happen, Kakarotto. And Goku's Goku's response is of course, yeah, I agree. We're, we're there's no way in hell we're teaming up. Never gonna happen. So that was all really nice. Now I did love the implications in the scene where Goku was telling Vegeta why he killed Frieza. The I mean, I'm like in the movie, in this version, it, it was a lot more clear. You could tell in the movie, but in this version, Vegeta would come, because that can go, Goku was like, he destroyed the Earth. Like, he explained it, and he's like, oh, that's why? Okay. He's like, you bastard, you could have told me to kill him. But good job anyway, Kakarot. Like, he didn't say good job, but what Vegeta pretty much does is, he implies that he's very happy that Goku did kill Frieza. Because he's happy, because otherwise the Earth would have blown up. So he's happy the Earth is still around. That is great. It's always nice to see Vegeta showing that he gives a crap about something other than killing Goku. Not even killing Goku, more like beating him at this point. And I am very excited because next week, Sunday, my live reaction to Universe 6 arc, episode 1, Champa material will be out. I am hyped. And, due to a video I'll be dropping tomorrow, actually, or later today, or sometime next week, a quick video, it will explain a lot more in detail, but Toriyama is not happy with Super Animation. They went to up the budget, and I am just really hyped. I cannot wait for the Universe 6 arc. Guys, if you're an anime-only watcher, I can tell you now, great things are to come. Toriyama is a little bit more involved in this content. This is original material and it is really damn good original material. Also, my reviews of the manga chapter will be out when Manga Stream or another translation website is done translating the chapter. I'm not going to review it until I've actually seen the words on page. That is my own personal opinion. I will compare manga pan manga stream translation to the content view translation later on and confirm if there were any mistranslation because I do hold content view above manga stream. And if you don't know what content view is, go check it out. I'll put a link in the description box down below. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys.